Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hi. Uh, pretty good. Just making sure all of our audio levels are fine here. Um, uh, I'm streaming you... this uh, myself too, by the way, just so you know. Oh, it's perfectly fine. I, I always assume that, that most people are going to be streaming it. I'm just going to boost your audio just a tiny, tiny bit. Can you give me a test test real quick? Test, test, test. Hello, hello, hello. All right. That sounds like it's probably going to be just fine. Um, at chat, let me know if the audio levels need any further adjustments as this goes on. Uh, real quick, uh, do, what, what do you want me to list your, your name and pronouns as? You go by, do you just go by Vegan Gains generally, or? Yeah, Vegan Gains, you can call me Richard, that's my real name, and okay. I identify as male. Okay, so, so he, he him. Alrighty, we gotcha. Alright, um, well, welcome to the Demon Mama show. Uh, happy to have you. I've heard a lot about you over the over the years. I don't know if you've heard about me. Uh, maybe you have. Maybe, I mean, assume you have because you came here, but I don't know how much you know about me. Um, but welcome to the show. Uh, I understand you want to talk about veganism. Um, did you have yeah. a particular topic in veganism you want to talk about, or were you just looking to just have a general discussion, like uh, whatever? About well, that? we could have a bit of a general discussion, but um, I wanted to bring up a specific point first. Okay, um, sure. I saw a video you made recently where you... I don't know if it... Maybe it's not. I don't know. Do you change your hair color pretty frequently? Uh, I mean, I I did... I think the last veganism video I did was like months ago um but, okay. but but yeah i mean the the schedule is is hectic but i just recently cut my hair and previously it was uh, okay. colored quite drastically yeah okay yeah so you um went on a rant where you're saying you agree with vegans and vegans won't acknowledge that but they just like constantly try to be combative with you yeah uh it's a frustration i've had with the uh, vegan advocates for a long time which is that um, I think that they they make a lot of good arguments um, for veganism and for the ethical value of veganism, but I don't think that's really good enough. I don't think just making a moral case is is the way that you win. I don't think that you can um, just sort of like proclaim uh, and make a case for morality without like, I don't know, uh, and then just call it good. And I think that's what a lot, in my experience, a lot of uh, vegan activists I've um, engaged with are very, very focused on the morality of veganism and the individual morality of people's actions. And they generally fail to engage with, um, they generally fail to engage with like people with the, with the practical application of veganism and how you build a strategy for a world that is better to animals in general, if not fully vegan. Um, and so that's something I've, I've had a number of videos where I've talked about this. I've also had a couple, quite a few videos where I argue against anti-vegan people um, because ultimately I do think that the argument for uh, not just like not just animal liberation, but also for uh, a, a, a a non uh, or, or a, a, a diet that doesn't involve killing uh, animals. Um, I think those are good things. I think those are very good things to aspire to. But I also recognize that um, a lot of people really struggle with that um quite deeply and uh in 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 bringing that up in bringing up the struggles and in attempt and in, in, in attempting to address those struggles i've encountered from a lot of vegan activists um what i would consider to be genuine pushback that i find uh unhelpful and also personally very annoying so yeah okay right like i recall a debate you had with dr avi a while ago mm -hmm. do you remember that debate yeah, I think it was about um, gender with him. No, um, I think you, maybe it was someone else, but... Might have been somebody um, else. Okay, maybe I'm thinking of somebody else, but did you have the position that it's okay for, like, people to kill animals due to cultural reasons, like Native Americans, some of their um, rituals and stuff? No, uh, I, I think no? that... Okay. Uh, no, no, I, I, my position I on that has always been a little then. more complicated. I don't think that it can be like... I think a lot of... Uh, I think certain vegans will, will ignore uh, culturally important uh, uh, activities, but I tend to think that even if a, an activity is culturally important, uh, if it causes harm, that we should challenge it. Um, I mean, I grew up in a uh, hyper-traditionalist uh, family, uh, is a nice way of putting it. I grew up in a cult. Um, and there were lots of things that they considered to be culturally important that I think were morally wrong. So I don't really think that like a this is a part of our culture is necessarily just like an open like a blanket defense i think there are some cases where it can be made um and i also think that like it's not a huge at least personally when i look at this sort of issue i don't think i don't think like 
native cultures using animals in ceremonies or eating meat ceremonially is like a is a statistically meaningful thing that we should worry about all that much i think that like uh, meat eating culture and meat subsidies and the the meat packing industry these are like much bigger issues to focus on i think that sometimes um people get uh i don't know they become more interested again in like have in, in like having a moral triumph or something in which they're willing to just like jump down and say yeah yeah i think that like we should like like i don't give a shit you, you hear this sometimes with like in the debate circles where it's like yeah i don't give a fucking shit if native people eat meat that's still bad like you think it's gonna be okay if they like kill kids or whatever and it's like the answer is obviously no but i but fixating on like but if you're addressing the problem of meat eating and your first thought is to like target like a micro part portion of the population that eats meat for a religious purpose, I just think you're focusing on things incorrectly. So, yeah, that would be my take on uh, that particular yeah. issue. All right, cool. So are you vegan? I am not uh, like I mean, I don't know what you mean when you mean vegan. Do you mean like I do I always eat it or I mean, I'm, I'm aspirationally vegan. Uh, I've been very slowly and surely uh, like clipping meat out of my diet. Uh, but, you know, it's slow going. I struggle with it because um, specifically because over time I've had a lot of dietary issues. And so it's really fucking difficult for me on a personal level. But that doesn't mean I don't try. It's definitely something I, I would like to get to. But I would I always describe myself as sort of aspirationally. So I've been in a slow process of uh, of eliminating uh, as much meat as possible from my diet. Um, but I'm not there yet. Okay. Um, yep. It doesn't sound like you believe there's like that much of a moral urgency to cut meat out of your diet. Mm. I, I would disagree with that. Um, I mean, I think that there is a like, I mean, I, I guess maybe maybe there's some accuracy in saying that my my personal diet uh, isn't the moral urgency that I like uh, that I fixate on um, partially because I don't think that like uh any individual's meat consumption is really the issue at hand. Um, I don't really think that, uh, I think it's a weird approach to me. Um, and, and this is something, this is one of the areas where I've clashed with a lot of uh, different vegan people is that I don't really, when I talk about veganism, I don't really focus on um, individual people's diets at, at like basically at all. I don't really care. I'm more about discussing how do we make it easier for people to, uh, to eat less meat? How do we make it uh, less uh, incentivized to produce and eat meat. How do we get people to think about uh, like about ri the rights of sentient beings in general? I don't really fixate much on people's individual diets. And the reason for that is because uh, I think that there are uh, significant cultural and social um, like factors that lead to people uh, having a lot of meat in their diet that aren't all that don't actually like they don't really they're not the the, their individual diet choices are not the issue at hand. It's the fact that like uh, we have a government that's willing to discount the price of meat functionally because they like that, because there is lobbying from the meat industry, because there is lobbying from the producers of meat, because there is uh, dietary and ideological approaches to this. And I always tend to focus on that shit more than individual people's diets, even my own. So I guess I just don't see, I don't really feel a whole lot of, uh, personal moral urgency over whether me or any other person individually eats some meat sometimes because i think the harm is very minimal in comparison to the overall culture of meat eating which goes much deeper than anybody's individual choice if that makes sense okay i think we're gonna have a big disagreement there because sure. um i think individual choice sure certainly should be focused on and i think the only way you're gonna make systemic changes is if individuals hold themselves accountable for one mm. thing, so maybe um, I mean we might have just a different philosophy on like on how uh, large societal changes happen. While I do think, well, that it, that I, I I understand like government oversight and incentivization and and shit like that. It, it does make a big difference, and we do eventually have to get to that goal where, um, yeah, systemically, like top down. The government has to like ban meat eating stuff like that. Oh, but, I, I don't even I don't um, even necessarily agree with that. Um, I don't even think that, really. Like, you don't think I, meat should be banned? I mean, I don't know that meat should. I don't know that meat will ever be banned. I don't really. Uh, my politics. I don't tend to focus on like top down state initiatives. Although I do think that could work. And if a meat ban could be uh like could be issued, um, 
I think that like uh, provided that like uh, you know I mean, provided it's not just like Thanos snapped and and people starve and whatever provided you could do a meat ban I think that would probably be relatively agreeable I, I I mean I think a lot of people would have a problem with that and I think a lot of people would have sort of legitimate complaints of their own about that but my politics I don't tend to focus on like should we have a government that imposes this but rather how do we how do we work how do we as people and as groups how do we actually push society in a way that really bad things aren't allowed to happen in the first place like I, I i just i don't imagine that like i guess to me it seems like a pipe dream to ever have a, an imperial government ban meat eating um how are you ever going to convince a government that believes that it's okay to bomb people that's okay to wage war over oil how are you ever going to convince them that they shouldn't exploit animals it won't happen so it's, it's not something easy I, I disagree with you on that i think that's i think that's uh, not an easy thing. To yeah, convince I, people I to think do. it's it's I think it's pretty realistic and easy for one thing. So let me just ask you this. Um, okay. Let's say. Um, well, actually, before you know, ask me that, if it's very easy, why hasn't it happened yet? Vegans have been around for quite a while. If it's so easy to convince. Well, the it hasn't to happened meat, because there hasn't been the political uh, will to do it. But mm. um, do you think there might be a reason for that? Yeah, because most people eat meat, and there's big lobbying groups as well, and there's just mm. not much political will to do it. Just like how there hasn't been much political will in the U.S. to legalize marijuana, it's easy. Well, I think there's a, a, like, a lot more. There's a lot more political fingers. will to. But I mean, okay, but wait, but you're talking about two different things. Like, uh, for example, Joe Biden could okay, well, at the, well, at wait, the snap of a finger. We're we're going a little off track, and I just wanted okay. to ask you a question. Sure, like, if. Sure. If um, Joe Biden were mm. to say, okay, we're going to ban slaughterhouses and ban the sa sale of meat, and the only uh, substitutes you could buy are either uh, lab-grown meat, uh, you know, mock meats made out of soy, whatever, and they're going to mm. make that transition within um, the next few months or years so mm. that there isn't, like, a food s shortage, would you be in favor of that or not? Yeah, that sounds perfectly fine to me. Okay. I mean, um, I, I don't, I don't really have a like, I don't really have a a, a problem with, um, uh, I don't really have like a problem with the government taking action against meat production. I just don't think it's, I don't think in the current like paradigm that it's likely to be the case, and I don't think that there's any actual motivation for the government to do so. Um, like, uh, governments don't generally act out of their own interest. America already has massive meat production and it's very profitable for the for the people who are in power currently. So I don't imagine that there's going to be like that we'll ever get a law that bans the slaughter like bans slaughterhouses. It would be cool if we did, but I just don't think that's the case. I think I that what we think... have to do is we have to like at least the way that I approach talking about veganism, I think it has to be approached on a uh, cultural level that what we have to do is is not really it, and I don't mean this like I don't mean that like I actually think that yes it is great to encourage people to to pursue veganism that's perfectly fine I have no issue with that my problem um, is that I think that a lot of vegan uh, activists and activism at least the ones I've engaged with the ones that I was addressing in the video you mentioned at the beginning um, tend to fixate very very much on individual people's diets as opposed to like okay what are the things that are actually preventing people in the current paradigm from making this change um because like well i disagree with that see that's another area where i disagree and one of my main frustrations with vegans is that they seem incapable of actually acknowledging the issues that people have with becoming vegans um in fact almost yeah, to a time. degree where it's almost delusional and um, I always find that really frustrating, um, you know, because I just I don't think that. Uh, well, let's think um, let's start from here. Sure. Um, you've claimed to have your own problems with going vegan, correct? Mm -hmm. Like you have some dietary issues. I don't know if you have like an eating disorder or something. Um, no, I, I just uh, I, I have a couple of years ago. I had my gallbladder out, which means that my uh, my my uh intestines are fucking crazy sensitive to everything and i get sick a lot so um it, it really sucks but but uh you know i'm trying to like in my in my goal like my my aim is to cut down red red meat for example because it isn't helpful at all but the reality is that like it can be pretty hard for me to put together a pure uh a pure vegan diet on on my schedule on this with uh with the fact that my stomach is the way that it is it's just a complication that's happened i don't think it's like an ex like a like a get out of jail free card or anything like that but then again i also don't look at this like that really um i think that 
uh, being informative and teaching people uh, and generally moving away from meat is a perfectly fine way to approach the issue. But the thing is, it seems like okay. a lot of vegans seem to have a problem with that. And Okay, okay so um, let's just argue from your context specifically. Let's say... Yeah human meat was um mm -hmm. on your on your plate sure it didn't give you any stomach issues and you wanted to uh transition away from eating humans mm -hmm. to eating plants and there's no other meat available there's mm -hmm. only human meat but you know the, if you want to be vegan you either or sorry the only options you have are either eat human meat or go totally vegan mm -hmm. if those were your options would you be vegan right now if those were my options if my only options were to eat a plate of human meat or or go vegan yeah um, i mean i can imagine i would probably do i would probably be aiming to go vegan yeah okay well would you eat people um, i can't imagine i would I mean, right. So, okay. But, but, so, but, but I mean, but so if you like, learned, right. So if, if, sorry, if you learned all the meat you were eating right now, um, uh, it wasn't chicken, it wasn't beef, wasn't whatever. It was actually human beings and you're being yeah. lied to. Sure. And the only meat in existence is human beings. Would you go yeah. vegan tomorrow? No, probably not. Really? You'd still yeah, I think that would be really pay difficult. for humans to get killed and eat them. Well, no, I mean, I mean, see, I think this is the problem that I always have. This is the approach that I have issues with, which is this idea that, like, I mean, first of all, I don't think you can just, like, like that, like, the hypothetical of just saying human meat is, like, a, like, I think it's a shocking, like, uh, like, hypothetical, but I don't actually think it says anything. If we lived in a culture where human meat was, uh, was, if we lived in a culture where human meat was normalized to the same degree that, that meat is now, where it was omnipresent, where very few, where almost no restaurants have, um, have options, um, or, uh, or menus or anything, um, where you, you, where your government is subsidizing human meat. I have a feeling that you and almost everyone else in this audience would probably regularly eat human meat. I probably would too. I would like to think that I would be trying to cut it out of my diet, but if we put this into an actual like ancillary, if we wanted to make a fair hypothetical, it, we would have to it, it, it come up with a world in which human meat was normalized, at which point I would be against that in the exact same way that I'm against it now. Which is that, okay, so you like I'm I'm just asking you a yes or no question. So if well, you learned all the like, meat you've been eating so far was humans, mm -hmm. and there the only way you could stop would be to go vegan. Would you go vegan tomorrow? Wait, do you yes real quick no? question? No, real quick question. Do you think are you trying to like are you trying to imply that like um that like humans are more important than animals? Because that's no. what it sounds like you're trying um, to imply. What I'm trying to ask is. Well, what I'm about to like the point I'm trying to make is there's no morally significant difference between humans and animals. So well, I don't know if I, I agree with that. I think it would depend very much on your moral framework, wouldn't it? Uh, well, like how yeah, you approach it. Like some the, people, would... what I'm about to ask you will oh, explore that. So. Okay. Well, I have something to ask you before because you've asked me a couple questions. I want okay, to well, ask you something. Like, do you yes think or no that, question? Wait, well, would no, you no, go vegan no, tomorrow? I if I it... don't really want, I don't really want to answer another yes or no question yet. I'll answer it in a well, second. But I want to turn. I want to turn. Simple to answer yes a question. or no question. You well, have to. Answer I have a simple yes or no question for you. Okay. Because I mean, remember, like you did come on here, and so I think it's fair that I ask a question too. Okay. Would do you do you think that eating that eating a bug is the same as like eating a human? Uh, no. Okay, why? Well, there's differences in sentience. Mm. There's differences in ability to experience well-being. There's differences in lifespan. But bugs feel um, pain still, you know, right? Like they well, rise when you shock them. Well, correct. Like depending on the type of insect we're talking about, um, if it's like a um non-carnivorous insect hmm. um i would probably argue yeah there's probably a not morally significant difference uh mm -hmm. between the human and an animal um i don't okay, know so 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 you you like draw if, the line of if we so what about wait a second if we, well, we're not if we done trade yet, we're equalize not done. the insect to the human um and the insect was or sorry the human was as intelligent or would live as long as the insect um i wouldn't be comfortable with killing and eating the human Wait, you mean the insect? So, sorry? You mean the insect? Well, the dif the differences I just mentioned for the insect, uh, you know, sentience and whatever, like, yeah, I'd, like, if we're talking about your average human, uh -huh. I'd be committing far less harm by eating the insect versus eating your average human. But if we huh. were to trait equalize the human, 
where the human had just as much sentience, intelligence, was only going to live a few months, I'd still be uncomfortable eating the human, even if all the morally significant differences were why accounted that, for. Though? Can you just answer me why that would be? Well, because they're sentient. Um, and I'm well, I not... thought you said we trait equalized. Right. So if the bug was also sentient and the human was sentient and the traits were equalized, you would have more of a problem eating the human than the bug? No. Okay. If they're equalized, so the then if they're trait equalized, then it's it's the same. Oh. Right. But like, that would like also the mean that they have I'm, the same level like of se sentience point... as well. Story? That, that would mean they would have the same level of sentience as well. Correct. Right. But so um, then why would you like care to get back why would to you the... eat the story? Why would you eat the why would you eat the bug but not the human if they're, well, if they're I, both I wouldn't, sentient? I wouldn't eat either. Oh, okay. Well what if you had to choose um, between the bug and the human, which one would you eat? Oh, if I had to? Yeah, if you had to choose like, between well, a sentient bug and a sentient human, which one would you eat? Are they trade trade equalized or are they are we talking yeah, about? Yeah, they're both human? gonna live the same amount of time. They're both gonna they both think and they both feel. Would you eat the bug or the human? Well, you had do to they choose think one. and feel to the same extent. Well, yes, because they're you said they were trait equalized. So in this okay, in so this in a situation yes. where they're trait equalized, then I'd see no moral difference. Okay. If anything, so I'd probably one? choose so you a would, human because out of all human. practicality, I'd get more calories and nutrition from eating a human. Well, they were equalized though. The meat's the same. Oh, uh, okay. So if we're talking about a tiny human or a very large insect, mm -hmm. um, then I have there's no moral difference to me. Okay. So you would crunch down equalized. on a tiny baby or a human-sized insect if you had to choose between them. If yeah, if there's like no other option, um, mm -hmm. like if I'm somehow forced to. Um, okay. but like to get back to the question I asked you, okay. um, fuck me. What was I going to, oh yeah. If, uh, the only meat options you had were human beings and mm -hmm. if you go to the grocery store, it's not chicken, it's not steak, whatever you eat normally, mm -hmm. it's yeah. just people. Would you sure. go vegan tomorrow? If that was your only way to stop from paying for people to be killed and eaten? Um, I don't think I'd be able to go vegan tomorrow. I think that would be very difficult, especially because there's so already stuff. Especially because there's already right. stuff that I purchased in my in my in my uh, in my fridge. It's odd. See, the thing is, is like nobody actually so, pays. Well, hold on, I'm not done yet. You got to let me answer if you wanna if you wanna have a conversation. So nobody actually pays for an animal to be killed. Uh, in in capitalism, we we go to the to the grocery store and with our finite wages we choose from a bunch of things that are put there more or less for us the corporations decide what they stock they decide what's available they decide the prices and all of that we don't actually have that much choice and most no one ever goes i mean very rarely maybe some rich people go and like personally have an animal slaughtered for them everybody else the meat gets delivered there whether they buy it or not and there is sort of a loose conglomerate of demand that economists can sort of back yeah, that's and fight true. over. Uh, so there's a thing called supply and demand. If you don't pay for it, then that means there's going to be less supply. Oh, wow. That's very high. So, uh, again, so again, if, well, okay, so it, if it, there was a human meat trade, if there was a human sure. meat trade, would you tell everybody, oh, well, there's no point in avoiding human meat because it's just going to be a supply that's going to be continually refilled. There's no well, option you have. Of course so not. So if there's that's an option between wait, human wait, 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 meat, hold on animal a second. meat, You're running, you're running way plants. ahead of yourself here. Hold on, you're running no, way no, no, ahead no, of no, yourself. No, 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 no. So if yeah, there's see, an option between the human meat again. at the grocery store Why and everything else, would you, would you make the same argument that there's no moral difference between eating human meat because... Because, oh, well, it's a stock that's replenished and you have no choice how the stock gets replenished. I have no idea what you're... I feel like you're not actually listening or trying to engage. And this no, is one I, of the things... I by the way, this is, this is one of well. the things that really frustrates me about vegans. Because they... What happens whenever I argue with a lot of, like, really hard and dyed in the wool vegans, like these really hardcore vegans like yourself, um, is they come in... Okay, and you they didn't always, answer my question. Uh, I'm, I'm... Because I'm talking. You know, that that's okay, what people well, do Okay, well, I don't really want to listen to you talk. I'd rather you okay, listen to the... Okay, then get the off my show. So... Okay, so what? Like, then if get you off my to have show. A discussion, no, 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 no. Hold on, this is really funny. Wait, wait, wait. Random wait. bullshit. Hold, just hold answer on a the second. question. Excuse me. Excuse me. With all due respect, you asked to come on my show. You showed up in you, my chat. You made a video saying that you wanted to debate me and that I wouldn't. I made because a video I like over. I no, I never said that once. I would love. In fact, can you um? Can you find me the citation where I said that you um? Let me, you, me, because I know for I a fact I that just you had never. It opened. I guarantee you that that clip never happened. If you can find me that clip, I would love it. 
I'll show it right now, yeah, but I, I know you can't because recently. I never said that. I did mention um, at one point, I think we exchanged DMs, and I said that I was open to talking to you about it, but I didn't know if I ever would. Um, and yeah, I was open to talking to you about it, which is why I invited you on. And you immediately, upon receiving what I consider to be very polite and very calm uh, pushback on some of your views, have now started to fly off the handle and accuse me of things that you don't even know about. In fact, I think you mixed up my... Okay, well, I, I get upset when people are deliberately uh, dodging questions and arguments wait, and trying to derail I, wait, discussions. I've answered, so I, wait, I asked you me. something very straightforward. I asked you if there was human meat on the shelf and uh -huh. there was every other option available, uh -huh. would you still use the same argument that, oh, there's no point in it avoiding buying human meat because corporations are what control stock and you choosing not to buy human meat won't change anything. It won't save so, a single human being. So, so there's something very would you interesting. still there's, say that? There's something very interesting happening right now, um, which is yeah, that you're still not I, answering the question. Um, it's a yes or no question funny. you're still that's, not answering. That's very funny. But you, this is well, like, it's not the way, funny. It's okay, annoying. Okay. So it's a yes or vegan, no question. Vegan would games, you still make that same games, argument? My dear God, vegan games. This is what I would like to call childish. This is one of the things that I fucking well, No, it's hate. childish to avoid answering yes or no questions. So I asked you a very straightforward question. Can you answer it? Do you think that this is how humans talk to each other? Well, uh, I think this is how ignorant children talk to each other. At least it, it's going in the one direction. So I asked you a very straightforward mm. question. Uh, can you it's answer it? a bit it? of a self... Did you, did you just call yourself an in ignorant child? Uh, no, I called you an ignorant child, so can you answer oh. a yes or no question, or are you just going to filibuster, waste everybody's time, and ramble? It's a yes or no question. It's really funny, because you're actually proving my point right now. Extremely okay, well, funny. you're proving my point that you can't answer a yes or no question. I've answered you know like exactly four of your... It well, leads. it's really funny, actually, because I tried to answer your question, and you immediately interrupted me to go on a tangent about how I no, you didn't. Yes you no weren't question. attempting to answer a question. It's a yes or no okay. question. I'm going to ask you... Okay, it's my turn. So it's, it's my yes turn or no. Now. No, it's really funny. See, this is... If this anything is... other than yes or no comes out of your mouth, then you're not answering the question. Okay. So is it yes or no? Um, I don't... Uh, can you restate the question again? Right, so if there was every if there was human meat on store shelves and every other option exists, so animal meat, mm -hmm. uh, you know, plant based options, would you tell people that there's no point in avoiding buying human meat because their purchasing decisions don't affect supply and demand and corporations are controlling things like stock and uh, production, so you're not gonna save a single human by not buying human meat. Can I ask you one question before I answer that? I, I'd rather you not because well, but, it's a simple really, yes or no question. I have a clarifying uh, I, question. I don't know what the point. Uh, I Wait, don't know I what the a, point but is. But vegan in stalling. gains, like vegan gains. I just have. A, it's not stalling. I just have a question for you before I answer that. Okay, I don't see why you can't just answer that and well, then why, I answer well, because, your question. Because, because the weird thing is, I don't like it when weird freaks on the internet come on my show and tell me what I should and shouldn't do, and then when I answer like three of their questions, I'm they continue. a weird freak. Yes, you are a weird freak. You came into my chat okay. looking for a conversation, you immediately started acting incredibly weird and passive-aggressive, and then when I tried to have a normal conversation with you, you kept talking over me and trying to say, answer the yes or no question. But I have another question that I want to ask you. And usually when civil people okay, have a conversation. Ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Did I ever once, did I ever once say that people that I, did I ever once advocate in this entire conversation that people shouldn't avoid eating meat? Or did I open this conversation? You this literally is a yes or, wait, 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 wait. I wasn't even finished. I wasn't even finished. And you couldn't even let me finish my friend. Let me finish my question. This is a very easy yes or no question. Did I open this conversation by saying nobody should bother um, not eating meat? Or did I say that I think it's really good if you can reduce or end your meat consumption, but that I don't think that's the be-all, end-all of vegan politics? Which one of those was it? Do you know? You you made two completely contradictory statements where you said it's a huh. good thing to avoid buying meat, and then you followed that up by saying there's no point avoiding meat. I never said so that. Which, can you so find which me? belief I would be really, really interested in this. Can you find the okay, point which where I said there's do you no hold? point? Do you believe that we should avoid eating meat, or do you believe that there's no point in avoiding it because capitalism? Well, it's really funny. If you gave a shit to listen at all and during the beginning a, again, of this conversation, it's a, a I did very bring simple it up. question well, it, that, It's funny. Again, it's you're a very answering. simple question that I've answered a million times, but you, like a robotic NPC, continually repeat the same okay, talking what points. What position do you hold? Do you believe we should avoid eating meat because we're, su we're supporting a supply? supply and demand system, whereby buying meat 
we're paying for more animals to be killed, or do you believe it makes no difference? Which which is it? Oh, I think it. I think it's absolutely great. If you can avoid buying meat, you should absolutely avoid buying meat. Okay, you're you're not really answering ah, the see, question. see, that's weird. I just gave you an answer, and you don't you, like my answer, so answer now you're going to say I didn't answer it, but I did answer okay, it. I just didn't believe... answer it the way you wanted to believe. See, this no, is the thing. No, this is so annoying. Okay, and, do you and believe that buying the video, meat by the way, the video that I did, excuse me, die. I'm so sorry. By the way, the video that I did on vegans was addressing behavior exactly like this. The the fact that vegans will walk into a chat and and literally be incapable of engaging in human conversation. They just scream and try to act morally superior and then walk away. And when you okay, give them an answer I'm that doesn't I'm not walking admit, away from anything. Well, we'll see about that. We'll see how long you okay, stick so around. So do you believe Seems that like buying you're... meat mm -hmm. causes more animals to die? Yes or no? Uh, I think that indirectly purchasing people purchasing more meat can lead to more animals dying, but I don't know. I don't know that it's an easily distillable number. I don't know that we can draw a direct uh, a uh, a direct line between everyday people buying meat from the grocery store, the grocery store which places orders, um, not always immediately uh, responding to demand um because of the way that modern finance works so i don't know that that's like i don't think that that's an easy to to conclude thing i think that yes on some level uh uh avoiding like people not buying meat does reduce the amount of animals that die but i don't think it's like a direct one-to-one -one. if one person stops eating meat that doesn't mean that one less animal is going to die or whatever well i agree with that yeah because and sure. often keep in mind that there's like uh that there are uh all kinds of other confounding factors that affect demand so for example for every person who goes vegan there might be five new people who come visit the country and buy a fuckload of meat and so while i do agree that to some degree there is a supply and demand relationship it really isn't as simple as just saying there is supply and demand um and i think that also uh if you look at at all kinds of other commodities that are traded and bought and sold in our society um we see that there's uh all kinds of things that uh exist even though the demand is not really direct aka demand can be generated or created um do you think that like spontaneously there was a demand for coke and pepsi no uh there was a demand created for coke and pepsi uh, a company said hey we have this new product don't you want it well we can we can send it to grocery stores and they'll stock it and then you might consider this new option and purchase it so i just don't think that supply and demand is as easy of an answer when it comes to an incredibly complicated economy like the american food economy so you would still say this if we were killing uh, human beings and turning them into meat and you wouldn't Absolutely. hold somebody personally responsible 100%. for causing humans really. yeah yeah and i can i can show you the reason why because right now I, I i would be willing to bet good money that you're using a product of slave labor right now and maybe even wearing the direct product uh of slave labor um, it's all... entirely possible ah. um the thing is supply chains can be extremely complex yes. and yeah there are contractors who hire subcontractors well, who not may just that you hire, know that you can... who may force children to like weave shirts the have thing you seen is Nike's, i don't have you I seen can't Nike's, confirm uh... whether or not that's happening if i had any control over that mm. i definitely would avoid products that are a product of slave labor but interesting i know for a fact when you buy meat you are paying for slavery and torture and murder. So yes, and you are also why every, I can guarantee you with every product in your house, you are you are paying for slavery, exploitation, and torture. This is the no, problem. You can't. Yes, you can. It's very easy if you yeah, eat chocolate. No, you can't. If you, if you, yes, you can. It's super easy. Nestle. No, you can't. I mean, ignorance I, I don't is have, not an I don't excuse. eat. Yeah, I, I'm not eating I, chocolate right now. So oh, that's I, interesting. No. How convenient. That's good. Um, you ever you ever purchased from Nestle? I guarantee you have. You've probably bought. You probably your house is full of. Yeah, from I've had. I've bought from Nestle before. Do you I know how I've direct the slave Nestle labor product. is that under Nestle? Sorry. Do you know how direct the the uh, the accusations, the credible accusations of slave labor are for for companies like Nestle? Okay, I don't know what that has to do with it being okay to pay for humans to be murdered. Oh well, because you're doing it right now. You currently are paying okay, for humans so, to be murdered. So you're on an internet. I'm you're using. You're using to computer. Be you're using a computer. By buying oats. 
yeah, you are. By oh, buying really? all kinds of okay, things, that's, you are. That's interesting. Yeah. Can you tell me how many uh, people die when I, uh, per, I don't know, I don't know, hundreds of kilograms or thousands of kilograms of oats that are bought? I don't know. And I don't really care. You want to know why I don't really care? Okay, so because it's okay to pay for people to be murdered? No. I'm just saying Well, that you literally just said there's no moral obligation for somebody to not buy human that? meat at a store. I don't think any of those words actually came out of my mouth. They did. Oh, did they? Okay, well, do you or do you not believe things. you have a moral obligation to not buy human meat? Um, yes or no? No, I don't think you have a moral obligation to not buy a product that is produced poorly. I don't think anyone has that. Um, at, you didn't like, answer the like question. Like, yes just, or no? I, wait, do you I just excuse me. Moral with all due respect, please fuck off. Are you for not real? Buy human meat. Yes Guys, or no? by the way, by the way, just just real quick. You're no, not even answering the excuse question. Excuse me. Excuse yes me. Please, no, please. My man, my man, my man, my man. You are a child. Can you just hold on for one second? But everyone who's going to be watching this video in the future, this is exactly everybody what I'm talking who watches about, by the this way. video in the future will know you're dodging every single question. I'm, I literally, I'm asking, I literally you directly answer. no, answered literally the question, didn't. and so you got I, so you, you got do so you have mad. A obligation to not buy human meat? Yes or no? I don't think anyone has a moral obligation to not buy human meat or to not buy animal meat or to not okay, buy anything. Okay, well, there you go. Then you don't believe in human rights. So if oh, I pay totally, for you yeah. to get murdered, if I paid a hitman for you to get murdered and chopped up into, into burgers, that's fine. That's morally acceptable to you. Mm, do you not believe in human rights? Do you think this is a, do you think this is like a, a, like a real conversation? Do you think like this is an actual argument? Do you think this looks good? Well, or no, makes sense I don't think anybody? I'm actually having a conversation with uh, somebody who's taking this discussion seriously. It sounds like you're really? just trying to do everything you can to filibuster, waste my time, That's not so answer weird. questions. It's really fucking weird that you'd say that. It, it's really weird you that you'd do. say that so because, like, you I've answered and literally, right? I've answered very directly, and not only not only directly, but very charitably. I've expanded pretty clearly on my views. You're just literally whining like a man child over the fact that. I'm sorry that I don't perfectly 100% word things the way you do, that I don't have the exact worldview. You're freaking the fuck out and coming on here and accusing me of filibustering because, I don't know, apparently big words scare you. I don't know what's up with you, man. Like, I don't know you. I don't even know who you are. You came into my chat and wanted to have a conversation, and you come on here and behave like every other fucking unhinged, pathetic vegan that I deal with. The vegans who uh, I deal with- I'm unhinged, but you think it's okay to pay for humans to get murdered? I mean, you even. think it's okay. okay to rape children, so that's pretty weird. What? You just oh, said, what? you just five minutes ago told me that you don't care, that you don't give a shit, that you don't know, you didn't even bother to look into the Nestle products, you don't even bother to look into the fact that children okay, are raped so in Nestle lithium mines. You are literally right, well, advocating sure right now Nestle for child product, raping. Then. Guys, Vegan Gains uh -huh. just came on my show to uh -huh. advocate about child rapists in favor okay, of child that's, rape. That's a cool story. So you believe that it's morally acceptable to pay for humans to be murdered? You think it's, you believe it's morally acceptable to pay for I'm child free? rape? Yeah, you're a freak. So you come you on here advocating for child rape by your own worldview. Dude, you're no. a child rapist. Uh, you like, no, what do you, got, so. what do you, what else are you paying for? How many subscriptions to child porn sites do you have? Wow. Okay. So, uh, again, you believe it's morally acceptable. Wow. Another to vegan comes on here and admits to, be to being a child rapist. I love it. Every single time. So, you believe you, it's moral it's high horses. to pay for humans to be murdered and turned into meat, but I'm. Well, afraid. I don't know. You, you won't answer the yes or no question. When did you stop raping children? When did you stop paying for child rape, my friend? Well, it's a yes or no question. Well, it's very simple. Oh. He got disconnected. Hold on here. I'll have to call him back. He got DC'd. Hold on. Here. I'll give him a call. How do I send a message? Don't worry. He didn't hang up. He got kicked because he didn't press the, the, the fucking thing. <sighs> I 
I don't, why are vegans all like this? Isn't it so fucking annoying? This is the problem. I go into conversations with vegans and they start screaming immediately. Isn't this so frustrating? No, I don't care. I'll finish it off. They're all like this though. Remember, this guy didn't even know who I was. He couldn't even remember if I did a video on him. He came in here fucking screaming about it. Dude, vegans are are the ones... Vegans are the people most likely to ensure that animals never get liberation. My stream stopped on YouTube. I don't think it did. No, my stream's still going. I don't know if he's gonna... Like, I don't know what's going on here. Here. I sent a friend request to him. He's not responding. It's really wild to me that, like, I answered all of his questions directly, but the dude fucking, uh, the dude fucking freaks the shit out. He says he doesn't give a shit that his computer parts are built with child rape and child slavery, but then he goes on trying to be like, you're a murderer. And they, vegans always, they try to make you seem like, they try to get you into these, like, these moral conundrums, but if you just answer them directly... It's fucking wild. It's really funny. <laughs> would you eat a human? Oh, no. I mean, he said he would eat a baby. He openly said he would eat a baby as long as it was the same size as, same size as a bug. Do you guys remember that? Unironically, like arguing with Christians. He's, he's the exact type of person that you described at the beginning of the conversation. I know. He proved me. It was wild. I don't know if he's like, uh, I don't know if he's like going to come back or whatever. Oh, this is interesting. Maybe we'll watch this. The worst of the fit fitness industry. Oh, interesting. We'll take a look at that. Maybe that would be a fun one. Remember, this guy came out of nowhere. He's trying to come back. Okay, good. I hope he comes back. I would love to continue this conversation. I'm sure really, really good things. He got banned from the Discord? Yeah, he didn't press the... He didn't confirm with the alt identifier. We have a little security thing. You just have to press OK, and he didn't. He's saying he got banned. Yes, he got banned by alt identifier. Somebody fucking... Mods! Unban him and let him in! Or at least... Or tell him to add me as a friend so I can call him directly. Oh my god, mods! Help this guy! My God, you can unban. It's really. Mm. It's this one. It's alt identifier that got him. It's a really common thing. Yeah, they ignored the. They ignored alt identifier. This conversation was a prime example of how vegans having these conversations are always so unproductive and the insistence on sticking to tactics makes me think this is more about being morally righteous. That's the thing with vegans. It's always more. They don't actually care about animals. I've talked about this a million times. They don't care about animals. They care about you knowing that that they want you to, to see how much they believe in the thing that they say. They want you to see how morally righteous they are. It's all a weird fucking, it's this weird projection insecurity madness. I don't lump you all in. It's not all vegans. It's the loudest vegans, to be true, to be fair. Okay, somebody let him in. Thank goodness. All right, he's coming back in. Don't know what his thing is. All right, it seems like he's uh, he. It seems like he's done for now. So I think we'll uh, I think we'll call it good there. What an interesting conversation. Oh, he says he's not interested. He declared victory. Nice. Uh, if that's what a vegan considers a victory, I say congratulations and best of luck on your future. Uh. Yeah, his his chat is full of nothing but transphobia. That doesn't surprise me. Um, let's, you know, you want to know what, 
Uh, it's really funny. These people, basically, all that they know how to do is recite a handful of gotcha, yes or no questions. Did you notice how his tactic was to consistently say that no matter how I answered, if I didn't literally answer yes or no, then I was somehow morally incorrect? All of his entire conversation was morality baiting. It's super, it's super fucking funny. These guys have no idea how to talk to other human beings. They're the worst advocates in the world. They think that they're saving the world or they say they're saving the world because they managed to make a weird toxic, uh, toxic fucking personality cult and straight up they suck at it. They don't make new people vegans. They alienate everyone from veganism and they actively contribute to a world in which animals suffer more harm. The reason why everyone is blackpilled on veganism is because vegans are straight up the worst advocates for their own beliefs in the entire world. They just they just act like Christians all the time. That's all that they act like. And it's really funny because they they're super selective about it. They're super mad at you that you sometimes buy a thing of meat from the grocery store, but they're not mad at themselves when they purchase their slave gathered Nestle uh uh, true raw water or whatever other stupid products that these fucking dumb shits throw their money into their $37 slave mind tap water uh, they, they don't give a shit that they own a computer in which uh, I guarantee you this guy's fucking streaming from a Mac computer that was built that was built in a factory that had suicide nets on it and this guy doesn't give a fucking shit they never care. It's always morality for thee, but not for me. They always have massive double standards. And they'll say you're like a murderer because you've eaten meat from the store, but they're not a child rapist because they buy a uh, fucking, uh, uh, they buy fucking products that are fueled with child slavery and child rape.